Welcome back to the MS Project 2010 video tutorial series by group.net. Lesson 2.2 discusses about starting Microsoft Project 2010. To start MS Project 2010, go to the Start button, then All Programs. From the list, choose Microsoft Office and then scroll down to Microsoft Project 2010. Click and this launches the MS Project 2010 software. Alternatively, if you have a desktop shortcut for MS Project 2010, you can click that. Now we explore the different parts of the MS Project screen. This is the quick access toolbar that has the most commonly used commands like save, undo, redo, etc. There is a small arrow on the right side which is for customizing the quick access toolbar. When you click this, it shows all the options like new, open, save, save as, email, quick print, print review, undo, redo, view, open recent file, etc. You can customize the quick access toolbar by ticking whatever you want. The next are the tabs like file, task, resource, project, view, add-ins and format. These give specific commands which are related to that particular group. For example, let us see the task tab. It gives the various commands which are related to entering and editing tasks. The resource tab gives more planning options like the team planner, assigning resources, resource pool, etc. The project tab talks about the sub-project, project information, WBS, changing working time, calculating the project, etc. The view gives the many different types of views which are available in MS Project like the Gantt chart, the task usage, network diagram, etc. There is by default the Gantt chart is automatically selected. Towards the left there is a view label which says Gantt chart. It always shows the currently active view. Suppose we make this task usage then this label changes to task usage. Same way there are shortcuts on the bottom of the screen like you can click Gantt chart from here or task usage or team planner or resource sheet. In the bottom right hand side you can also see a zoom slider. This is for zooming in or zooming out the view. There is also a status bar which shows manually scheduled as well as auto scheduled tasks. And finally if we click on the file menu we go to the backstage view which has the common options like new, open, save, save as, close, print, send and save, options, exit, etc. So to summarize, we have seen how to start MS Project 2010, the various sections on the MSP screen and the backstage view. This presentation material is available on group.net. Thank you for joining us on this tutorial. In the next part of the video tutorial series at group.net, we will explore the various views for MS Project 2010.